Hello, this is uh, Richard and Catherine. And we went up to uh, the Corning Glass Works up in Corning, New York uh, to celebrate our 15th anniversary. And uh, we thought it'd be fun to uh, try a glass making class. So we found this online and uh, we had actually visited there once before and uh, we thought it'd be kind of cool. So here's my wife uh, dipping uh, this metal rod into a uh, bowl, I guess, of molten glass, and now she's actually cooling down the uh, the rod that uh, came out of there, because we want to make sure that you don't burn your hands. You can see the rod's kind of hot uh, after being in there. You don't wear any gloves or anything like that. So. Just eyeglasses. Yep, you just got to make sure you wear protective eyeglasses uh, while doing this. As you can see, it's cooled down. And you can see in the background, there was another one that was put dipping. Uh, dipping and adding water on. Uh, one thing you want to do when you're doing this is um, make sure you're constantly uh, spinning it so it uh, doesn't uh, the glass at the end doesn't fall off. Now I'm heating it up again because it got cooled from the, the water. Well, not from the water, from the air. From the air and the cold. And just staying out. And so now she's going to, now she's got the, the glass in the end trying to uh, shape it. So she's going to roll it here. Um, there's the other instructor. Uh, Chrissy, um, and uh, she did a great job, and uh, she's uh, warming up again, and so uh, try to make sure that... Uh, you have to stand behind the door because it's like a flaming oven. Yeah, the, the glass, we were told, gets to about uh, 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's uh, pretty hot in there, and uh, so you got to, to work with the gorilla ass, you have to make sure that it's... Uh, Nice and gooey. It's almost kind of like uh, working with honey. Yeah, I'm rolling it. I'm trying to make this shape flat. Yeah, so the uh, idea here is to uh, get it into a shape to make one of the uh, the rod type uh, balls here. Now I'm rolling it. There's a certain way you have to get into the bench and off the bench for safety reasons. And then. Um, I'm being shielded by my friend there with a paddle because it's so burning hot that you'll burn unless it's shielded. And the instructors were very good. As you can see, Ali has uh, jumped in there to help out and uh, you know show uh, you know how this would be done here. So now uh, it got uh, cold again. So you have to exit a certain way so you don't get burnt, and you got to keep turning it. Which I and so since it got cold, basically throw the uh, the glass back into the fire and warm it up, and uh, let it uh, you know so you can work on it the next time. Uh, Makes it melt. And so what she's going to do, she's going to um, put on some um, colored glass on the end of this uh, when she's done. So you'll see that in a second here. But for that to stick, you want to make sure that it uh, uh, is nice and gooey when you go over to the uh, the other furnace so where you get the glass. It's like a warming oven. I put shards of glass in a certain pattern in the warming oven. And now I'm going to go over and retrieve them. But the, the shards, because they're in the warming oven, are now melted a little bit. See how it keeps going down or up. And Lee's instructing on how you should do this here. So you can see he's sticking this in the uh, oven to pick up this uh, melted glass. It's not really melted, it's more gooey type of thing. So, and you can see it's uh, sticking to the end of the, <coughs> the existing glass, that she, the clear glass that she put on before. I'm going to make it melt some more to my melted glass. show a finished product here. <clears throat> so this was my uh, first uh, shards uh, um, paperweight that we made. Uh, you can see uh, one of the things trying to get bubbles in there. Uh, this was another attempt. We had, I actually made four uh, different paperweights then. At the bottom the little pieces are called frit. I tried to use different techniques. Uh, and This was using rods 
Uh, and you try to put a swirl in the pattern, and uh, I think that one came out pretty good. And uh, this was the one that you saw Catherine just making. No, it wasn't. No? Oh, that's right. That was the shards yeah, one. This is the one she made from uh, rods. rods. So, um, you know, if you want to get a head start on this, you can go to the uh, Corning Museum of Glass website. Uh, you can see the studio there, and we took that uh, beginning uh, glass blowing class. Um, they also have a YouTube channel where you can check out uh, more demonstrations of what's going on there. Um, and if you really want to get a head start, you can pick up these books from the uh, Corning Glassworks store or a video uh, from the store. They have quite a few things there. And uh, if you really get interested, you can see some shards. Um, you see some, some of the glass rods. I think this is a student pack. And then this was another website that had different glass.